All right, everybody, welcome to Watch Me Work Wednesday. And what I'm going to do here today is take this one minute, uh, 10 second show open for the Maury Povich show. And I'm going to pretend that executive producer asked me to switch the order of stories. So what we have here in this open is a very quick 10 second, seven second little graphic open. Then it transitions to a story about cousins fighting over the paternity of a baby. Uh, remember, this is trying to tease you to watch today's show. You won't believe what happens when blah, blah, blah. And then after that first story about the cousins, it goes to a story about young teens who were in love, but now they're fighting over the paternity of a baby. And then it goes to a title. So imagine that this was done, it has the sound effects, it has the music, everything's great, everything's done, and the executive producer says to you, you know what, I want to switch the orders of the stories. I think that the young teen story should go first, and the story with the cousins fighting each other should go second. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to make that change right now in front of you, hopefully, uh, very quickly, in under 5-10 minutes, and I'm going to talk while I do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the mix downs. And the other thing I'm going to say is that I've seen a lot of editors, what they would do here is they would start lassoing and start dragging this right and do the same thing for other things. I don't do that. I never lasso and, and pick clips to move things, okay? I'm always a load filler guy and extending from the transition later. So the first transition happens right here where we want to get the second story uh, in in place. So I'm going to load filler and I'm just going to uh, insert edit. Give me some space here. Give me some space to work. Okay. Now I'm going to find and grab the second story. Out doesn't matter. I'm going to change that. I'm going to put it into my source monitor and I'm going to give myself maybe like 15 frames and I'm going to insert in it here. Okay, so now what I have here is a mess of this where this transition point was, and I'm going to clean that up. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of this stray sound effect, get rid of the transitions that were there from the uh, other part. I'm going to, now I'm going to start extending. Uh, I'm going to extend this sound effect, and I got to fix this music, which uh, it seems like, okay, if they just cut that music back in there. Let's see how this music sounds. Dismay on Mari. Great. Sounds great. But I'm hitting black, so all right, I need to extend this graphic. But it starts too late, so I do need to uh, bring it in, recut it in, bring it in a little earlier. And let me render that, and I think I have the second story in place. This would be the first of the sort of three main cut points I need to fix. It's May on Mari. It's a Great. Situation. Looks good to me. Did I hit black underneath here? No. This worked fine. Okay. So now I'm going to the second one. I'm going to take what was originally the first story with these cousins fighting and put it second here. So let's get the out set up here. Right. I don't need any of this title stuff, including the sound effects. And okay, so that in a sense is where it's going to be the new transition. So, just for argument's sakes, I could probably go find another transition, but I will copy and paste what initially was the transition between the two stories and use it here. Let's just find here, maybe after this uh, annoying out of focus camera shot, right there. And here we go. I know I'm going to have to extend this a little bit, so I'll do that right now. And now I'm going to bring in the first story. And how I'm going to do that is, again, I'm, I'm just going to exit back in to where I think it should go. Maybe, maybe it's, this sound should start right about there. Now, the problem I have here is I don't want to extend this 3D warp and this graphic transition. I don't want to extend those two. It's going to mess it up. So what I'm going to do is do a little uh, memorization here, I guess. I want to X everything back except for this layer 3 and layer 6. But I want to remember here it's 4406. So layer 3 and layer 6, I want to get back 4405 out 
excuse me, I'm going to bring back on three. And unfortunately here, I'm gonna do it on another layer because I don't have enough room. So seven, 4405, whoops. Did I mess something up there while I'm talking? No, it came back. I see, I didn't even need that transition. That was the problem. This was a, a lift from the other transition. So I should have lifted that, brought back this V6 here the way it was. Okay, so now in theory, everything's good, but we need to clean up this transition and everything here right so we're gonna hit black so I need to bring this story in earlier or this shot earlier hopefully there won't be too much lift lip flap and the question is why isn't this matching up nope I'm going the other way this needs to match up with The transition is a 3D warp that opens up like that. It's a little bit off, but you know what? For this sake's video, I'm not going to stress about that. I'm not going to spend a lot of time worrying about that right now. Uh, okay, so the music. The music is definitely not smooth whatsoever. So let's talk about the music. So in the middle of the transition... We have a sound effect, so I want the music to sort of cut on the sound effect. Right, so somewhere right there. Let's, let's see if we can hide it. Nope, too late. Hmm, let's see here. We can see what this track. Yeah, I'm getting the fact that that music cut might be such a strong... Hmm. So what I'm going to do is bring this in. I'm going to crossfade it. I'm going to bring it in without this huge, like, beat. And I'm just going to crossfade, cross-dissolve this and hopefully blend it with the sound effect. And hopefully, as I render this, it'll be something smooth, something you won't see. Um, some of this stuff I'm doing a little quicker than I normally would just because I don't want this video to be 10, 15 minutes, right? I just want you to get the point of... Um, how I would do something like this. And we'll move on from some of the sticky points. Okay. Alright. Again, that works for me. Pretend there's a deadline. We need to get it going. So, the just thing, last thing we have to do is get this title on. And so, we're going to go here. And we're just going to X to where that title was. And we're going to lift off uh, the pieces that were sort of stray, right? You see what I'm doing here? And I'm extending. Now I'm extending these sound effects. It's a shocking deal. Okay, so everything's going to work there fine. I messed up somewhere and I lost that sound effect or that transition at the top. And I am very disappointed in myself. When I drink beer this weekend, I will feel shame but so i know where it is i'm gonna grab it from uh another sequence and bring it in there and something something like that obviously doesn't match up as well as it should but you get the gist and in theory when i mix this down and let me get rid of this end pieces ah uh, that's where it was because I moved it up to 7. See? Ha! Ah, there's always a reason, right? Yes. So I moved it up to 7. That's why. So actually, let's see if that works. If my 4405, if I cut that back, will it line up? Yes, it will. Cool! Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. I switched it. I did it. Watch me work Wednesday. And I'll see you in the next video. Some people think Avid is really hard to learn, but that is not the case. And now there's an online course to prove it. Get all of the info and all of the details at avidbeer.com.